All right, we're gonna get started. So, like I said before, make sure you have your water, clear your space. Get ready, we're gonna start with jumping jacks. First, we're gonna do 30 seconds of jumping jacks to make sure our bodies are nice and warm. All right, so go ahead and stand out in the middle of your area, hands by your sides. We're gonna start our jumping jacks in three, two, one, ready, go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, halfway, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. All right, cool. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right, we're going to do our QMs. So remember, if you bump into anything, just turn around and go the other way. Everybody get down on the ground, hands and knees. Palms are flat, fingers are spread. We're going to tuck our toes underneath our feet. Lift your knees up a little bit, a couple inches off the ground in three, two, one, 20 seconds, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand up, shake it out. Loosen up, walk it out for a couple of moments. Shake, 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 rattle, rattle, rattle. All right, we're gonna get our backwards QMs through. Get on down to the ground. Hands and knees, arms right, behind, right underneath the shoulders. Knees right underneath the hips. Tuck your toes, lift your knees. 20 seconds starts in three, two, one, lift it up, backwards, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, halfway, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Stand up, shake it out, catch your breath. All right, we're gonna do our frog jumps. And we're not gonna use the balance blocks for the frog jumps. We're gonna be jumping as high as we can, all right? So try to reach for the sky, reach for the ceiling. All right, remember, this is easy if you breathe in coordination with your jumping and landing. Okay, so inhale as we go up, exhale as we go down. Here we go. Three, two, one, up. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, last one, real high, go. Nice, all right, straighten the legs, shake it out. Walk it out for a second, breathing in, breathing out, nice and deep. Shake, 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 senora, shake it all the time. Shake, shake, shake your arms, shake your hands. All right, so next we're gonna do lunges. Just walk around doing your lunges. Take another couple of deep breaths. We wanna warm our body up, we don't wanna to go too fast. All right, so arms up over the head. Take a big step forward in three, two, one, 16, 15, 14, 
13, 12, 11, 10, hi Manny, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Shake it out. We got sideways monkeys next. Catch your breath. Nice deep breaths. And breathe as much as you can and try to breathe even more. All right. So shake your legs out one more time. We're going to squat down. Chest and chin is up. We're going to move our hands across the ground. Palm slap, fingers spread. Keep your chin up and your tail down. Here we go. Three, two, one, 16, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Stand it up. Let the blood flow through the legs. Shake it out. We're going to do Kongs. Next. All right, shake it out. Get your mind and your body ready. Inhale, exhale, big breaths. All right, for our Kongs, knees are close together, arms on the outside of the knees. We're going to reach our arms forward, past our knees, pull our feet back under our chest. All right, we're going to do this for 20 seconds, starting in three, two, one, Kong forward. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, halfway, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stand up quickly. Shake it out. Take some breaths. Calm it down. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Or in through the mouth, out through the nose. Whatever you like. Just breathe. All right, cool. We're almost there. This is our last bit of our warm up. Breathing in, breathing out. All right, shake it out. Shake your hands, shake your feet. We're going to go backwards, Kongs. Okay, squat down, arms on the outside. Legs go back behind us. We can walk our hands back to our feet or we can pick our hands up off the ground. All right, ready, everybody's down. Three, two, one, legs back, walk the hands. 20, 19, 18, seven, six, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, halfway, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Stand up. Get a drink of water. Nice job. Warm ups. I'm warm. You've got to be warm too. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're working our handstands. So go ahead and tuck your shirt in. We're still resting, actively trying to rest, focusing on breathing deeply between each one of our little workouts. Okay. So we're going to do. Handstands, I'm gonna go against this chair today. And back is against whatever you got, maybe it's a wall, maybe a bed. We're gonna do shoulder taps with our ABCs. So A, B, C, D, you got it. All right, place your arms down wider than your knees, a little bit farther out. We're gonna walk our feet up behind us. Once our feet are up, we're going to start our singing. 
I want you to sing. Everybody in your house should hear you sing. Ready? Three, two, one. Walk your feet up. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Walk your feet back on down to the ground. Stand up. Shake it out. Good job. All right, we're moving on. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of parkour practice. And for, for this, we're going to use our blocks. All right, and today, they're not going to be so far away. We're going to do 180 precisions. Okay, so 180 precision is when we jump and land facing the opposite way. So our body is going to turn half a full rotation. Okay, so I'll show you one example. So I jump and I land. These ones are hard. So I jump, I land, looking the other way. All right, these are hard, but that's why we're doing them. So we jump, you can land on one foot and then turn. All right, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna do 16 of these. We're gonna count down. If you don't have a precision block, it's gonna be a little easier for you because wherever you land, you can just stay there. You don't have to worry about being on exactly your precision block. All right, so if you fall, if you take an extra step, don't worry about it. The spinning, is the most important part because we want to make sure that we're maintaining as much control as possible. Okay, so go ahead and step on your precision block. And we're going to start in three, two, one, jump, 360, or 180, good. Whoop, two, oh, three, Whew. four, five. Six, woo, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Last one, sixteen. Stick it. Good job. All right, we're moving on. So we're going to work on our rolls. And I want you guys to practice these precisions throughout your house. Okay, you've got these at home. Practice, practice, practice. All right, we're going to work on our rolls. And we're going to, today we're going to go sideways rolls. So you're going to get down on your hands and knees. Okay, you can sit down for a second and watch me. So what I want to do is I'm going to keep my eyes looking forward. If you can see the screen, if you can see me doing this, keep your eyes on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll. I'm going to lift my chin up so I can see in front of me. I'm going to roll all the way back to my hands and my knees. All right. So fairly simple. And we're going to do this 16 times, rolling back and forth, back and forth. All right. So make sure that you're looking forward. Don't look at the ground. Your hands are there. You know where it is. All right, so everybody get up on all fours. We're gonna roll to the side 16 times, starting in three, two, one. Bring it over, come to the shoulder, roll, keep looking at the screen. Good, two. I'm looking at you, you should look at me. Three, four, five, six, Seven. Keep looking at the screen. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Look at the whole world spin. Fourteen. 
15. It's our last one right here, and 16. Nice job. All right, stand on up, shake it out. We're breezing through class today. Nice job, everybody. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, working on a little bit of strength and making sure the body is strong, we're going to do our crab spins. So go ahead and sit down on your tail. Put your hands behind you, fingers pointing forward. Your feet are going to be pointing forward as well. So you're making a nice V with your body here. We want to make sure that when we lift up, our feet are right underneath our knees and our hands are right underneath our shoulders. Okay? So you can sit back down once you've got it ready. Shake your hands out. We're going to rotate around. We're going to do 10 seconds going one direction. We'll take a break and we'll go 10 seconds the other direction. Everybody ready? Get your hands behind you. We're going to lift up in three, two, one. Hips up and spin in one direction for 10, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your tail, shake your arms out. Get ready to lift back up. We're gonna go the opposite direction for another 10 seconds. Here we go. Hands down, hips up, and spin. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Good job. All right. So the next thing we're going to work on is handstand push-ups. But since we can't have our feet totally in the sky for these, we're going to probably fall over and not be able to complete it. So I have two options for you. Okay, the first option is you're standing straight up like this. You're going to bend at the waist, arms are up over the head, so you're upside down. You can bend your knees a little bit, and then when you bend your elbows, your head's going to come down. Okay? If you want to challenge yourself a little more, you can put your feet up against or up on top of whatever you did for your regular handstand. All right? But not everybody has that, so I'm going to do it from standing. Okay? So the most important thing when we do this is you're looking between your legs as you go upside down, or as you're doing your handstands. So you want to make sure that you're going straight up and down with your arms, and we're not pushing like this, like a push-up. Okay? So everybody go ahead. You can squat down if you want to. Put your hands on the ground. Our hips are going to go up first, so our arms and our body are all in one straight line. Our legs are going to be bent because our legs are longer than our body. All right? So we're going to lift up our hips. And then we're going to do 10 of these hand uh, pipe push-ups. All right? So lift your hips in three, two, one, upward, upside down, and starting now. 10, 9, 8, look between your legs, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Good job. All right, you can stand up. I'm starting to sweat. I know you are. All right, so for the next thing we're going to do, we're going to get back on down. We're going to do some regular push-ups with a little twist. We're going to go slow. We're going to count to four seconds all the way up and then all the way down. So each push-up is going to take us eight seconds total. All right? We're only going to do five of these. All right? So we're going to start in a high plank position. Okay? What does that mean? It means arms are straight. Our legs are back. Okay? I've got one leg bent to support myself while I straighten my body. If you can see yourself in your camera, make sure you've got your body nice and straight. We don't want any of this. And we don't want any of this. So right there, right in between. Okay? You can keep your knee dropped while we... Wait to begin. All right, so now we're straight. We're ready to go. We're going to start in three, two, one. Down for four seconds. Four, three, two, one. Up for four. Four, three, two, one. That's one. Down for four. 
three, two, one, up for four, three, two, one, that's two, four, three, two, one, and back up four, three, two, one, that's three, two, one, down and up four, three, two, one, last one, down for four, three, two, one, up for four, three, two, one, good, drop your knees. I think I skipped one there, it's hard for me to keep track, but now we're gonna do five push-ups as fast as we can, all right? And then we're gonna move on. So this is it, right here. Get yourself ready, five push-ups fast. Here we go, get your arms out, one leg is back, get the other leg back, and go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, grab another sip of water. All right, cool. Yeah, we are cruising through. You guys are gonna get done early. All right, so we're gonna do our core section next. And these are candlestick crunches. Most of you all know this one. We do this a lot. And a candlestick crunch is gonna help your flips. It's gonna help your parkour moves. It's gonna help your kip up. It's gonna help your rolls. It's a really, really great workout. All right, so we're gonna lay down. Arms are by our sides. I'll show you one example. We bring our knees to our chest. We roll all the way up to our upper shoulders. Straighten our legs to the sky. Bring our legs back down. And legs go straight back out. Use your hands. Push your hands down as you do this to get your legs up. All right, so everybody's laying down. You can tuck your shirt in if you want to, if it's going to go over your head. I'm tucking mine in. We're going to do 15 of these. All right, simple. Not too many, we're not doing 20, just 15. All right, so legs are straight out, our body is flat. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Knees up, toes up, good. 15, 14, good. 13, legs out, 12, 11, good, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one all the way up and back down. Good job. All right. So for the next thing, we're going to swing our legs out behind us. We're going to do 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Okay. So we've done mountain climbers before. So your hands or your fists can be down and we're going to be running with our legs at one spot. Okay. The faster you move your legs, the better. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds. All right, catch your breath here from the candlestick crunches. This is a little intense. It's as intense as you want to make it. So if you want your legs to go slow, go slow. If you can make your legs go super fast, that's awesome. All right, so here we go. Arms are out, our body is in a plank position. Get one leg back, support yourself, make sure your body is straight. Follow with the other leg in three, two, one, 30 seconds, mountain climbers, go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stand up. Nice.
Nice job. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is our balancing. And when we're out of breath and we're a little dizzy is the perfect time to work on the balance. Because most of this stuff is really easy, but once our blood starts pumping and things start happening, that's when we wanna make sure our balance is the, is the best, okay? Because you're usually balancing, you know, without working very hard, but sometimes you're gonna need to balance when you're out of breath, and this is the best time to do it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna practice the balancing split, the standing split, and this is gonna help our cartwheels, which we're gonna do today, or our cartwheel to handstand. All right, so we're gonna start like we're doing a cartwheel. We've got one leg back, okay, and one leg forward. We've got our arms up in front of us or above our head. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tip down, bring our hands to the front foot, and we're gonna lift up our back leg. The more flexibility we have here, the easier things are gonna be, okay? So that's the move. We're gonna hold it for 15 seconds, okay? And then we're gonna switch to the other side. All right, so get your feet nice and wide, kind of lunging forward. Make sure that bottom leg is straight when we're upside down. All right, here we go. We're gonna tip down in three, two, one. Reach the foot, leg behind, and 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Leg down, arms up. Nice job. All right, we're gonna switch, okay? Other leg goes back, arms stay up. Okay, we're gonna tip it down in three, two, one, we're going down, leg is up. Here we go, 15, 14, 13, straighten the bottom leg, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Bring it back up, tip it down. All right, relax. We're gonna do that one more time. 10 seconds on each leg. This time I want you to grab your front leg and try to pull yourself down, okay? With first one, we loosen it up. Now we can go a little deeper, okay? You can start with whatever leg you want. We're gonna do both. All right, so here we go. Arms up, we're gonna tip down in three, two, one. Try to grab your foot, leg is up, and we're balancing on just our foot, grabbing your thigh, and grabbing your shin. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the foot, lift the hands. Good, all right, hands at the sides. Now we're gonna put our other foot back. Okay, 10 seconds. We're gonna hold our shin with the front leg. Hold the, the front shin with our hands. Arms go up. We're gonna tip over in three, two, one. Tip your arms down, lift the back leg, grab the shin, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms up, foot down. All right, cool. So we're gonna do another balancing on one foot, okay? This time, we're gonna do, we're gonna have our body kind of like a gingerbread man, okay? We're gonna tip to the side. One leg is gonna come up as we bring the other hand down. You can touch your hand to the ground or you can leave it off and try to balance right here, okay? All right, so it's another one-footed balance. Really important is the arm that's not reaching down is gonna reach up, okay? So our chest should be flat. Pretend you are being squeezed between two panes of glass by your front and your back. And you have to, you have to fit everything between these panes of glass, okay? So pick which side you wanna go on. All right, here we go. My camera slow down a little bit there. All right, so whichever way you're gonna tip, take that foot and point it in that direction, okay? All right, here we go. 
Tip down in three, two, one. Reach down, back leg goes up, and we hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the front knee, bring the back foot back. Good. All right, reach both feet, point both feet towards the screen, and now point the other foot out to the side. Okay, we're gonna do another 10 seconds of this. You can bend your front leg as you get into this, okay? Here we go, in three, two, one. Bend the front leg, drop the hand, straighten the front leg, and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the front knee, bring it down, hands up, feet pointing forward. All right, shake it out. We're gonna do that one more time, okay? Everybody looks like they're able to do it, so we're gonna do it one more time for 10 seconds. Okay, point the other foot out, arms out. Here we go, three, two, one. Bend the front knee, tip it down, straighten the bottom leg, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend the front knee, drop it back, point both feet towards the front, rotate the other foot out, okay, make, some, make sure you got room, bend the front knee, tip it over, back foot comes up, straighten the front leg, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend the front leg, drop it down, shake it out, grab some water, All right, so today's trick, today's move is a cartwheel to handstand, okay? So a lot of the stuff we've been doing in this class already today is gonna help build that, that confidence that you need to be able to do this. All right, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I've got my legs set up for a regular cartwheel. My arms go up, okay? As I bend the front knee, I lunge forward, I place my hands down, one leg goes up, and then my other leg will meet it, and I can just drop my feet right in front, okay? So I'll show you one more time. Arms are up, lunge forward, kick up with one leg, meet it with the other, and then drop your feet right down in front of you, okay? So I want your right leg behind. If you can, if it's your left, that's fine. But we're gonna do this five times on each side. And then we're gonna do a regular full cartwheel and it should be able to uh, get improved. All right, here we go. So one leg is out in front, arms are up. Okay, we're gonna do five of these. We're gonna start our first one in three, two, one, lunge forward, hands down, leg up, meet the other one, drop the feet right down in the middle. Okay, here we go. Again, reset, arms are up. Lunge over the front leg, here we go. And cartwheel. A handstand, drop the feet, okay? If you're able to balance your legs, don't wait for me to tell you to drop your legs, okay? Here we go, this is number three. Arms up, tip it down, leg up, meet with the other one, okay? Here we go, two more. Arms down, leg up, meet, drop them down right in the middle. Okay, we want to make sure our legs go really, really high. Straighten your legs out. All right, last one on this side. Here we go. Hands down, leg up, meet, and then drop them down. All right, let's switch feet. Okay, so my left leg is going to be back this time. Arms are up. We're going to go right into it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Leg up, meet, drop. Okay, here we go again. Arms up, cartwheel forward, leg to the sky, meet it, and drop. Okay, we got three more. Arms up, hands down, leg up, and drop. Good. Arms up, we got two more. Here we go, arms down, leg up, meet, and drop. Good, one more on this side. Arms up, reach down, 
Leg up. And hold it. Drop it. All right, so we're going to go back to the original side. We're going to do five cartwheels. You can do this at your own pace, but we're going to go all the way over now. Okay, here we go. Here's number one. Switch back to the original foot. Hands down, leg over. And I want you to feel that moment where you're doing a handstand midway through your cartwheel. All right, here we go. Again, same leg. Arms are up. Cartwheel into your handstand, but go all the way over. Go. Nice. Good job. All right. Three more on this side. Arms up. Lunge forward. Hands down. Legs up. Cartwheel. Good. Here we go. Arms are up. Lunge forward. Cartwheel. Legs knee to the top. Bring it down. I think we have two more on this side, then we're going to go back to the other side. Here we go. Arms up. Lunge forward. Cartwheel all the way. All right, this is the last one on this side. I cannot count. Arms up. Here we go. Last one on this side. Go, cartwheel. Nice job. All right, let's switch to the other side. Okay, opposite leg back. Lunging over that front leg. Arms are up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Cartwheel. All the way up and over. All right. Four more. Lunging forward on that front leg. Arms down. Back leg up. Nice cartwheels. All right. Three more. Leg forward. Arms up. Here we go, and arms down, legs up. Beautiful cartwheels. Okay, I think three more on this side. Arms up, tip it down, let's go. Okay, two more. Two more, and then we've got a dance party. All right, arms up, leg back, and cartwheel. Good job. Okay, two more. Arms up, hands down. Here we go, leg up. Don't land on your dog. Last one, here we go. Arms up, hinge down, leg back, in the, uh, back leg up, go. All right, nice job. All right, you can grab some water. All right, so our song today is another rock and roll song. And just got to get this working here. All right, there it goes. All right, so here we go. We're going to do a rock song. So remember, rock and roll, just move your whole body, shake your head, move your arms, move your legs. Get all that energy all the way out. Having a little bit of technical difficulties here. All right, here we go. All right, just bear with me here for a second. Right, it looks like I'm having a little bit of problems with the software here. It's freezing up on me. All right, well, that's the end of class today, guys. Nice job. I want everybody to go outside and do some sprints. Okay, today your goal is to run as fast as you can. Okay, find somewhere you can run as fast as you can. We're not going to do a dance party today. I'm having some technical difficulties. But I was really looking forward to this song. So that's the end of class today, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.
Bye. Have a great day outside. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. See you later. I'll see you on Friday. It's our last class on Friday.